I'm going to activate a browser uh, to find the simulation is very easy we have created a tiny url.com forward slash driving hyphen car after typing this in uh, it will actually bring you directly to the simulation so in this simulation uh, is divided into a world view on the left a scientific view on the right and a bottom panel with the control so with these three panel we can conduct rather interesting simulations so for example uh, let's try to investigate uh, what is the meaning of uniform motion at one meter per second now after selecting it from the drop down menu okay you may want to click play button and the simulation will render the scenario that you have selected and through this activity you can through this simulation you can also choose the different graphs so for example in this case is the velocity time graph all this is the acceleration time graph of which the acceleration is always zero uh, as seen by the numbers uh, as well as the graphs so you can go back to the velocity graph you can see that it's always one so it's a horizontal line at a one the value of one meter per second at a time and if you select the x displacement or x position you will find that it is actually another straight line passing through zero but with a gradient of one meter per second as meant by the meaning of the word one meter per second so it increases one meter every second so after 20 seconds it should have traveled 20 meters so now you can describe the graph uh, in your own words so now i'm going to show you one of these cooler features that we have made in our simulation it is called store data so uh, we click on store data you find that the simulation will be reset to the original condition and for which now you can select a different run so for example you may want to now investigate uniform speed at 2 and similarly you can now click play and you can see now that the new data is being plotted with the on the graph on the right and with the new data set points on the left which is the world view and this allows you to do a very nice comparison so let's toggle to velocity graph or oh, didn't I didn't save the velocity okay for the velocity graph or oh, maybe it's, it's higher so you can't see it okay yeah so okay so it's up there but it cannot be seen maybe the next version I will improve it so in this case you can look at the two graphs and uh, so the blue line has a gradient of one and the yellow line has a gradient of 2 so how do we uh, learn more deeply using this simulation so besides being able to store data the other cool feature that we have made is for example you would like to do a simple motion let's say a motion uh, uniform speed at minus 1 okay now there's something here that we call uh, modeling so you can actually select the model for it to be visible and through the drop down menu you can actually select a particular shape a particular mathematical equation that you think will represent the motion called uniform motion at negative one meters per second so for example you may be familiar with a t and you think that t is the correct model that can describe it you can now click play and after clicking play you see that the simulation actually moves back at minus one meter per second whereas the model that the student proposed actually continues to simulate the model that the student have chosen so this is actually a very powerful way that we think can in improve learning so for example now if the student think that now the answer is not t but rather it is for example because of the negative opposite direction so maybe now he thinks it's negative t insert in the new answer 
and you can now see that the model and the motion now matches perfectly now even if let's say this uh, answer is been the arrive at uh, with some effort with some but maybe there's still some doubt in the student mind maybe there is a you know a plus 0 0.5 let's say you know maybe the student think that this has some impact on the correctness of the model and you can try this out and you can see now that the answer is actually slightly higher than the answer so maybe minus half is not a good choice maybe say plus two and you can see now that instantaneously the model will be plotted to allow immediate inspection and thinking about what the model and what the simulated data is so with that uh, we believe that uh, we hope that you have enjoyed yourself uh, listening to this video tutorial and we hope that you have a lot of fun interacting with the simulation that we have built thank you